Hello, I'm Danny Legerveld. I'm here with the Innovation Peak. I'm gonna give some uh, uh, tips. And uh, this tip is called uh, using the delay as a looper. Uh, the Novation Peak has a really nice delay effect, it's uh, really clean and if you put it on a maximum, if you put the feedback and time and level on maximum, uh, it basically will become a looper effect and if you don't know what a looper effect is, that is something uh, uh, that uh, loops audio continuously and you can add new uh, sounds over it and uh, overdub it and you can create uh, very intense soundscapes. And, stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. Uh, first of all, I'm going to put it back uh, off and uh, it's best to start with a kind of uh, rhythmic sound to get uh, to know the, the rhythm and groove and the timing. So uh, let me see, let's start with a bass sound, uh, a short staccato bass sound. This is okay, I guess. Uh, so all we have to do is put the level up, the feedback maximum, and also the time. You don't have to put the time at maximum, but this will mean uh, we have a, a longer loop, like one bar, and if you put it shorter, the, the loop will be really short. So now all I do is press it, and we hear it's looping. And now we can play anything over it. Of course, uh, the thing is, uh, we cannot test the sound. So we have to kind of visually program on the peak, uh, which is kind of fun and spontaneous. And uh, of course, it will also uh, record the audio of the knob movement. So we can do stuff like this. Like make little freaky uh, stuff, uh, like a little filter movements and now for example I can program a string uh, put it higher so I'm, I'm programming uh, blind or uh, no deaf then because uh, I'm, I'm seeing but uh, let's see put a little bit lower uh, put some LFO on here and now I hope it's gonna sound good So yeah, now, now it uh, loops the, the pad over it. And I can do more stuff like this. I can uh, put some noise or some effect sounds. And, and the cool thing is it's not an infinite looper, actually. Uh, the, the sound will uh, disappear or kind of evaporate after like two minutes, one and a half minute. And then the, the old sound will be replaced by uh, anything new you put in there. So the, the bass sound we first heard uh, is slowly disappearing now, but it does it in a really nice way, almost like a tape uh, loop that's uh, disintegrating. And uh, yeah, so that's a really cool function of the, of the peak. It's a little bit of an Easter egg, I think. Uh, let, let's put some chords in. See, it becomes more smudgy now. It's like uh, yeah, liquefying the sound or something. Uh, let's change the waveform. And uh, I hope I got a little staccato sound. Uh, change the waveform, maybe play some higher pitched melody. Or we can do this chord. So yeah, you, you can make uh, entire tracks like this real time, you know, and uh, just keep doing this for a few minutes and you got a very uh, psychedelic uh, space trip uh, track song whatever and uh, yeah like I said it's <clears throat> really uh, fun and very spontaneous and adventurous to uh, make music like this.
And um, of course we can put effects uh, over the sound too, but only the reverb and the chorus, because we're using the delay already for the looper. But we can change the time, but then you get a really weird kind of quantum uh, physics uh, time-space thing going on. See, because uh, the, the loop is shorter, but it's not looped anymore, so then I can put it back, but... It's like the, the time and space has been uh, disintegrated or something. Well, anyways, there was the tip using the uh, delay on the peak as a looper effect.